Lloydminster well, RCMP are investigating several thefts. Two businesses reported thefts of copper and brass pipe yesterday. Now the incidents were reported at the old Safeway and at Guardian Plumbing and Heating, which are located close to one another. And sometime between 9 Sunday morning to 8 Monday morning, a 2007 Ford F-350 pickup was stolen from Dynamite Oil Field. Now the vehicle has company markings as well as a pilot vehicle sign. And with information is asked to contact RCMP or Crime Star. Stoppers. The Lloydminster Rescue Squad will be staying in their current building for another year and a half. A memorandum of understanding has been signed, officially outlining the exact role of the squad in the city. Now, city staff say the services of the Rescue Squad are almost the same as before. Now, the expectations and call-out process are in writing. That when it comes to the squad's building, it is still up for discussion and the city is weighing its options. Should we be looking at, uh, you know, at, at replacing it? And uh, and uh, council unanimously showed that be, because of the cost involved and having to get it up to code standards from 1966 to present would cost a pretty, uh, pretty exorbitant amount of money. We do definitely need to fix the roof, and then we'd like to do some cosmetics outside to to uh, spruce up the the building. But uh, I think we can handle that if we if we uh, if we got the building down the road. Councillor Sowers says they won't take on the responsibility of finding the rescue squad a new home alone. They will involve neighboring counties and RMs as well. The municipalities uh, to the east and, and to the county uh, as well who are involved and are, you know, use the services of the rescue squad. So now we will uh, talk with them and, and, and administration will talk with them to see, you know, their involvement as to what that's going to look like. Lloydminster Rescue Squad will always continue, uh, whether it's in the city or outside the city. We have to maintain that level of service that uh, we've provided for the Armed Britannia, Wilton, and the County of Vermillion River, and, and we're also backing up the city. City staff at a completely new building is unrealistic, costing close to $2 million. The Rescue Squad will stay in the building until December of 2015. Well, and Cold Lake officers from the local RCMP detachment gathered to watch the funeral proceedings. Now, they joined members of the military and their families at Four Wing as a way to pay tribute to the fallen officers. Fraser Snowden was there and has more. With their own moment of silence, the Cold Lake RCMP wanted to be part of the proceedings as well. And even though we are 4,500 kilometers from Moncton, it felt like they were there. It actually hit very close to home. There's, uh, it's uh, an emotionally charged day, and um, it marks a, a point in time where we can mourn those who give their lives, and um, we'll never forget them for what they've done. In this time of mourning, men of service came together for the viewing to show their respects. Colonel Eric Kenny says when you have losses like this, it shows the two can be one and the same. RCMP. Uh, just like the military have joined to serve their country and we do it in different um, uh, terms in particular for them it's to serve their communities and for that it's important that we're here to show our respect and our admiration for the heroes that have fallen. Constable Dave Hart who watched the three-hour funeral for the fallen officer says there were parts of the service that were hard to watch without a tear until uh, Assistant Commissioner Roger Brown. Um, I, I know him quite well and he, uh, when he got emotional and when he said to take your, take your post, uh, that was when I, I lost it. Buchanan says they all joined together in tough times like these. We're from a, a cross-section of all over Canada and we're uh, fathers and brothers and sons and uh, sisters and so I hope that that uh, that message is put across. In Cold Lake, Fraser Snowden, Newcap News. Construction crews at Lakeland College are hard at work this week as they continue to build the new energy center at the Lloydminster campus. Now this morning, some major pieces were delivered to the construction site, including a boiler unit specific, especially built for the college. Instructor Greg Chalet says the unit is made for training and is similar to boilers power engineering students will use on the job. Using the, the same equipment, the uh, up-to-date equipment, 
uh, is getting to be very uh, important. There's not a lot of other places to get this experience before you end up out there. Construction is expected to be complete and the building fully operational by 2015. Well, we only have one animal featured in this week's pet project. Onyx is a black lab with lots of energy and she knows how to do 10 different tricks. This is Onyx. Onyx is a seven month old female Labrador Retriever cross. She's current on vaccinations, not yet spayed, and she'll be microchipped at the time of adoption. Onyx is a wonderful little dog with a love for life. She loves to run and play, and she's very energetic. She enjoys going for walks and jogs, and when given the opportunity to go off leash, she loves to run. She's very fast. Onyx is also very good at retrieving. She will continually search until she finds what she is fetching for and return it to you. And Onyx enjoys the company of other dogs. She also does very well in large play groups. Playing with other dogs are a great way for Onyx to burn her energy. So Onyx does seem to have some previous training. She has great leash manners, she's house trained, and she knows 10 tricks. Sit. Good girl. Down. Good girl. Roll over. <laughs> Crawl. Crawl. Shake. Good girl. Stand. Good girl. Spin. Catch. Oh, just about. Stay. Oh, yeah, just because it was. You see it? Yeah. Come. Yep. Good girl. Good job. High five. Right on. Good girl. Good girl. Onyx is very smart. She loves to learn and she's very treat motivated. Onyx also enjoys car rides, belly rubs, toys, and giving kisses. Given the opportunity to exercise her mind and body, Onyx will be a prize for her new owner. Come on down to the SPCA to meet her and see if she's the perfect fit for you.